Start with creating a new document, File, New. I am going to use the square 100 pixel by 100 pixels and make sure to update your color mode to the appropriate choice. If it's something you are using only on your computer and online, select RGB. If it's something that is going to be printed, make sure to choose CMYK. Using the ellipse tool you can find on your left toolbar or L on your keyboard, click once on your artboard and make sure to choose the same size as the artboard. So 100 pixels by 100 pixels. And then your, use your selection tool or V on your keyboard, select your ellipse, and we are going to center it perfectly on the artboard. And the best way to do that is the align tool that you can find in the middle of this top toolbar, or you can use window align. And align to select the drop down and make sure align to artboard is selected and then click on horizontal align center and then vertical align center. Update the colors of the ellipse to whatever you would like. Just remember that you will want some sort of stroke on the ellipse. And it's hard to see my stroke right now because it is matching the artboard, but once we start to create the repeat, you will be able to see it. And I'm going to make a copy of this circle. So with it selected, I'm using Command C and then Command F on my keyboard to paste in front. You could also do edit copy and then edit paste in front. Um, holding down shift and alt I am going to bring this copied version in slightly and I'm going to repeat this a second time now select all three and go to Object, Pattern, Make. I like to see the repeat a little bit better than this, so I'm going to use Command and Minus sign to zoom out. You could also use the magnifying glass. Select your Pattern Tile tool in the top left of your Pattern Options window. And this bottom square, we're going to select it and bring it up. And you'll see that it is already starting to create your repeat. And then I'm going to bring the sides in. And you'll see that you now have your fish scale pattern. You can play around with the overlap if you wanted the bottom and front, or if you like the top and front, you can also select right or left. If there's any changes you would like to make to your pattern, you can do it in this by using your selection tool and you can change like colors and things like that. I'm going to keep this stroke a different color. Once you are done, you can save a copy. Click on save a copy, name your pattern, and click done. If you would like to test out your new repeating pattern, use your rectangle tool or M on your keyboard 
Make sure that the fill is selected, not stroke. Your pattern will appear in the swatches panel. If you do not see that, go to window swatches. And you can see that it is indeed repeating. If you would like a better view, you can go to objects, transform and scale. Make sure to unselect transform objects. And in uniform, if you would like to scale it down, choose a smaller number, or if you would like a larger view, obviously a larger number.